What's up guys? Welcome back to another Destiny video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite method to farm strange coins after the Taken King update. Now as you guys know they have taken out the weekly heroic strike so we cannot get the 9 strange coins that we usually got each week from doing that strike. Now the first method I want to talk to you guys about is grinding out the prison of elders level 28. Now as boring as this may sound, it really can get you a lot of strange coins. It can get you up to 7 strange coins each run. Now I understand Prison of Elders is very, very repetitive. All you guys do is defuse the mines, you guys destroy the mines, and then you guys defeat the boss at the end. I understand that it gets very repetitive and it gets very boring. So what you guys should do, what I personally like to do, is put on some music or watch some TV and time flies much quicker while doing the Prison of Elders if you guys have some TV on or some music to listen to. So if you guys are bored, I do suggest you guys do one of those and it should only take around 15 to 20 minutes when doing the level 28 Prison of Elders and you guys do get matched up with some random people so you guys don't have to go looking for a fire team. And I got matched up with some pretty weird people. They did not know how to do the Prison of Elders. When it said defuse the mines, they started shooting the mines with their rockets and they just started firing at the mines. I was like, what? Like, do you, have you guys really never done the Prison of Elders before? But that was just my experience. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that actually know how to do the Prison of Elders. So once you guys have completed the five stages, you guys will be going down to the treasure room. Now you guys will see three chests. One chest you will need a key to open and the other two you do not need a key and sometimes you do get the key from the left and right chest. So what you guys want to do is open the two chests on your left and right and they do have the chance of giving you two strange coins per chest. So that's up to four strange coins from the left and right chest. And if you guys do happen to have a treasure key then open the chest in the middle and that will get you three strange coins. So you guys can get up to seven strange coins while doing the prison of elders. And the second method is to level up your Vanguard, your Cryptarch, your Crucible, your Factions, and each time you guys level one of these up, you guys will get a Legendary Package. And in this Legendary Package, you guys will get 5 Strange Coins and 5 Motes of Light and some Engrams. So it's a pretty good source of Strange Coins. And for your Factions, you can actually buy experience so you guys can level up much quicker. So moving on to the last few methods, this one is kind of based on luck. As you guys know, if you do the Vanguard Strikes, you will get a ton of rare Engrams. And when you come back to the Cryptarch to decrypt all these Engrams, you guys will find some Strange Coins within these Engrams. So that's one method. And I do realize that you guys can get some Strange Coins from the Nightfall as well. You guys could get up to 12 Strange Coins doing the Nightfall. But honestly, do you really want strange coins when doing the Nightfall or would you rather have an exotic item? Personally me, i rather have an exotic item, but that's just me. And you guys can also get a few strange coins from playing the Crucible and doing the Vanguard Strikes, but the chances in that are very, very slim. So that is pretty much it for today's video. And if I find any other methods that might be better than these ones in the near future, then I will upload another video on that. And I realized that I was talking very quick in this video, so I'll leave a list of all the methods in the description down below. And thank you guys so much once again for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Peace.